is dead. Another on the run after a campus shooting at Delta State University. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. It started this morning with Ethan Schmidt, a history professor, shot and killed in his office. Authorities just named Shannon Lamb a suspect in that shooting. Lamb was a social science professor at Delta State. He is also wanted in connection with a shooting death in Gaucher. The Sun Herald is reporting the victim there is Amy Prentice, a woman believed to be Lamb's girlfriend. We start our coverage in Cleveland with our own Ross Adams live at Delta State Ross. Some new developments from a news conference that just wrapped up a short time ago. I can tell you that more than uh, nearly eight hours after the gunfire first erupted in Jones Hall on Delta State campus, the university is still on lockdown. That's the word from pre university president warning anyone who may be tempted to come to the Delta State campus with all the media presence and all the police presence on campus right now. They're warning people if they don't have to be here to stay away. Shannon Lamb, who was initially init listed as a person of interest, has now been named the suspect in the shooting death of Professor Ethan Schmidt. The American history professor shot to death, found shot to death in his Job Hall office just after 10 o'clock this morning. University president had a word for parents concerned about their children's safety. We have checked the campus out thoroughly. We believe that our buildings are clear and our students, most importantly, are safe. And we want our parents of our students and their friends and loved ones to know that this campus is safe. And the good news, if there is any good news to come out of this tragedy, is that no students were injured. Many of them were on lockdown for more than three hours, terrified and hungry. No doubt many of them are glad to be in a safer place tonight. I can tell you that night classes have been canceled for Delta State. Also, Tuesday classes. There won't be any classes on the campus Tuesday morning either. And the Bolivar County Sheriff saying they won't rest until Shannon Lamb is behind bars. Live in Cleveland, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.